What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, aka Allfairs. Now I stand by what I said earlier in the month or at the end of last year about Deadpool 3, that it has the potential to get to the hype levels of Avengers Endgame or Spider-Man No Way Home, but currently and right at this moment, it just is not there. And I really think that's more of a symptom of what's been going on with the MCU as a whole and Marvel, but there's no reason to get into all that during this video. However, we are speeding towards what a lot of people think is going to be the reveal for the very first trailer at the Super Bowl. And I have to sort of admit, it feels like the tide is starting to turn and that the hype is starting to build. We'll wait and see if that trailer doesn't ignite at all. Now, maybe it's not fair to hold it to the same bar as, say, Spider-Man No Way Home or Avengers Endgame. Maybe Deadpool 3 isn't meant to be that type of film. But with so much riding on it for the stake of the MCU, it's safe to say there are a lot of fans who haven't seen some of the recent outputs by Marvel who are definitely going to see this and for a lot of reasons outside of its importance to the multiverse saga, which I think on both accounts can't be understated. That being said, we got a huge announcement today and a positive one at that. In a world where we've heard of nothing but Marvel delays, this is quite the opposite. We're also gonna go over the few, a couple of official reveals we've had since. But first, I wanna tell you guys about Brilliant, a free and easy place to start learning brand new skills interactively. Now for me guys, Brilliant.org has really become my go-to place for learning and for three key reasons. The first of which is the myriad of topics that I want access to. Things like data analytics that have helped me grow my channel here on YouTube or things like computer science that helped fill in the gaps where I needed it for computer programming to help me build my website or even math courses where I don't remember anything and now need to help my daughter with her math homework. And that's my second point. No matter what your skill level is in something, you can tune these courses to exactly what you need and that's what's super helpful about again filling in the gaps or helping you acquire brand new skills from scratch for something you might want to do in the future and trust me guys they have so many topics on here the other key thing is that no matter what you're interested in data analytics computer science math they have 15 minute bite-sized courses that allow you to start acquiring these skills and in the busiest of schedules. So for a lot of people, when you look at your traditional learning platforms and for someone who already has a full-time job or a family, it almost seems impossible, but that's the best thing about Brilliant.org is that it makes it easier than ever to start acquiring whatever new skills you may be looking for. And you can get started for free for 30 days and the first 200 people get 20% off the annual plan by visiting Brilliant.org forward slash everything always. Again, that's Brilliant.org org forward slash everything always and the first 200 people who sign up get 20 percent off the annual plan sign up today at brilliant.org and put yourself on a path to acquiring brand new skills okay so the big news today is that deadpool 3 has officially wrapped on principal photography we know this because ryan reynolds himself took to social media posted this picture with the caption quote the suit hides blood also sweat, but today with Deadpool rapping, it's mostly tears. A giant and forever thanks to the cast and crew of our film who battled wind, rain, strikes, and the Hugh Jackman all under the stalwart leadership of Selvi Direct. I got to make a movie with my closest pals, and that doesn't happen very often. See you July 26th them with a couple of swords emoji. So great news. They are on schedule. They've wrapped principal photography. And of course, outside a couple of reshoots, which are more than customary at this point for a Marvel movie, it's more of a shocker when there aren't any. See season two of Loki. But as he confirms, they're going to hit that July 26th release date. And again, right now, until Marvel says otherwise, this is the only Marvel movie that we're getting this year. Now, I am going to go ahead and issue a spoiler warning here because I know a lot of the footage that's been going around and as of late has been so HD and extra HD qual. So if you don't want to see this clip back out now three two one but there's nothing in the dialogue here even if you filter through the wind that you can hear just the director telling to act like he's telling him a story then go ahead and jump piggyback and then go back to acting like he's telling him a story again some of the other behind the scenes shots we've got other than this footage have revealed a lot more say like those shots of the void one thing I will say though, however, is that this does not look like the void and considering so much of the footage we've had recently is them just walking around outside talking to different people makes me wonder how much of this movie is exactly that. Them just walking around outside with Wolverine and his mask off talking to different variants or if the whole movie doesn't take place in the void or something like that because one of the earliest leaks and rumors we had about this film is that it would introduce battle world and now i'm starting to wonder here with so much of it taking place in what looks like this outside world if this isn't them in a majority of the film in battle world now Another reason I was super shocked to hear that filming had wrapped is because a lot of these other behind the scenes shots we're getting don't feel like they're anywhere near a third act or a conclusion to the film. But 
Keep in mind a lot of the initial filming that was done on sound stages that included a lot of the cameos, a lot of that was done and prior to the outside filming stuff and this was earlier last year and before the actors strike. There were a lot of actors who had said that they had already wrapped on their cameos in their filmings which makes me wonder if you know they didn't film this back the front. It's very common for movies to sort of film chronologically through the film but not always and I swear some of the footage that's been coming out here real recently and from recent filming just doesn't feel like the end of the film but you guys let me know all your thoughts down below especially about my remarks and the hype. How hype are you for Deadpool 3? Can you sort of feel it growing? And I know there were a lot more things that added up to the hype for Spider-Man No Way Home like Andrew and Toby and then again with Avengers Endgame us not knowing exactly what was going to happen or even close to it but I think this film has everything in the way of the cameos all the offerings of that and the fact that it's rated R. I don't know. I just have a feeling that this movie is going to be absolutely huge and we're going to start to feel it a lot more as we get closer. Hey, but maybe I'm wrong. You let me know all your thoughts down in the comments quickly. Let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. All right, we're still giving away PlayStation 5s at the channel, and in fact, we're giving one away with every major Marvel drop this year. So Deadpool and Wolverine, but also Agatha Coven of Chaos, The Witches Road Special, Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man, X-Men 97, and we suspect maybe even Marvel Zombies. So there are still a ton of PlayStation 5s to be given away this year alongside other giveaways. If you want to be entered to win or for any of the future giveaways, all the same rules will always apply. Hit the subscribe button because you need to be a subscriber, then leave a comment down below. Because it's truly random, the more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will always be announced live with my voice in the winning comment shown on screen. We just announced two brand new winners for the PS5s for Echo and What If, and again the comment was posted and I announced the winner, so please, please be safe and vigilant on any platform you're on, and if you should ever get a comment saying that you've won a prize, someone pretending to be a content creator, make sure that you report that respective comment to the right platform because they are a lot faster about banning them and as I've said in the past not only are you doing the content creator they're impersonating a huge service because trust me they're trying to get rid of those comments and YouTube can do it faster but no one else will be tricked by that account once it is banned and as I said we haven't dealt with them here at the channel for quite some time but they are still on YouTube and they've been hitting some of my friends channels that's why I'm bringing this up the best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on and as always if you like today's video I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button my name Michael Roman. You can find me in a couple of places, Instagram and Twitter at I'm Fires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, wherever you listen to original music under the name All Fires. Now, if your team is still in the race for the NFL playoffs, congratulations. I'm wishing you the best. Fortunately, my Bills decided to act like deer in headlights, exactly the same thing we did last year against Cincy. We did that against KC. We literally were winning the game the whole game and then just decided to lose the game at the end of the game. But ah, that's being a Bills fan. It's the same every year. That being said, we will do a watch party for the Deadpool trailer and during the Super Bowl. I know that that is not ideal because some of you will be watching the Super Bowl or be at a party, but for those of you who will also have your computer on and be hanging out, let's admit it, if your team isn't in it, it's going to be a lot more exciting to see the Deadpool trailer. So we will do a watch party for that and I'll see you guys there or in the next video. All right, take it easy. Peace.